this video, we're curing a thousand people's blindness. It's gonna be crazy. And that's a big promise right there. Strict reality show, do daily Christian commentary videos on this particular video. For those that are seeing me for the first time, we do daily Christian commentary videos. And on this one, Mr. Beast has set a task to go and heal 1,000 people's blindness. This video should be very interesting. It's getting a lot of criticism, so I wanted to see what's going on. And also, I wanted to add to it with the subject that we deal with on this channel, which is the charlatans, the people that are supposedly pastors, prophets, claiming to heal people, and uh, they're doing more harm than what Jimmy could do. <laughs> as a youtuber a 24 year old youtuber let's get into this video i don't want to waste too much time most of us see the world like this but here's the thing 200 million people see the world like this that's a lot but i just made it one less oh wow she's just one of a thousand blind people we help from around the world they can't see but we have all the technology to fix it. Yep, half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. Crazy. <laughs> Think about that. It, it could only take 10 minutes. It's a surgery that could take 10 minutes to cure almost half of the world's blindness. My goodness. Yeah. Oh my okay. God. Oh, I see okay. everybody. Oh, I can see clear. <laughs> I can jump for joy. <laughs> But how does it work? Yeah, I can see your face, I can see your face, I can see your face. If you're wondering how the surgery allows people to see again, it's because the lens in their eye got so cloudy that they can't see through it. So the surgeon uses a tiny vacuum to suck up the clouded lens. Whoa, it's sucking. And replace it with an artificial one. The surgery is that simple. They can see again. And that's the thing. It's the cost of the surgery. It makes it so hard for people to be able to access it. And... <laughs> you pay for my surgery? Yeah. Oh, here's ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Make your day even better. <laughs> Is she okay? We're gonna go fix more people's eyesight. She's squeezing hard. And we're just getting started. We still have nine hundred and eighty lives left to change. Jeez. There's my watch. I've never seen it before. Oh. <laughs> and I had nine. <laughs> He could have paid like five hundred dollars for that watch, and he had never even Find seen us. it. I couldn't see that you just deal with it life. I'm Nolan, by the way. I'm Carl. You're Carl. I know a guy named Carl. Not a good guy. <laughs> Moment of truth. He's Kyle for this. Wow, you're pretty angry. <laughs> What's it like? What, uh, what do you see? What, Blur. How long have you not been able to work for? Four months. Did you hear about the cross-eyed teacher? She couldn't control her pupils. Uh. I'm gonna need anesthetic soon. I'm just starting to realize how much this cost i know he can spend a lot of money on these videos i wonder like all these surgeries you know paying doctors is not cheap and also it's n it's a very critical um it's a very serious job so you can understand why it costs so much the equipment whatnots the facilities oh man no cloudiness no blurriness oh it's perfect now what's it like i can see everything I don't need these. Oh my God, I just remembered something. For those that don't know Mr. Beast, sometimes if he shoots a video and in when they're editing it just doesn't work, they'll scrap the video. Like imagine after spending all this money, he would have scrapped it. My goodness. He's done that before. Our next patient is Charlie. You're not able to read any of this text on the TV? No. I don't need these. Stop, stop. Kills the music. Our next patient after is that Charlie. curiosity of that person when they. Charlie, you're not able to read any of this text on the TV. No, it's an yeah. E or something. Or thing. He won't know he won 10 grand until after his surgery. I can't wait to see his reaction. Charlie sees everything like this. It's made him and his family's life extremely difficult. I was a cashier. Of my eyes was getting so bad. I couldn't see how much the money to give back. I just want to get my vision back so I can go back to work. Now you're going to be really happy after this surgery. We'll see after it. Trust me, you will see. This is must be the most expensive one minute of the video ever. Helping people here in America, but we're also going to other places around the world. Because unfortunately, nearly half the population with curable blindness doesn't have access to this surgery. So I wanted to provide this to as many people as possible. Ha, ha, ha. 
I can see it. As a thank you, because you were just so gracious in this video, we want to make a hundred thousand dollar donation. It'll bring sight to thousands of people. Como le digo, me siento nueva. I see everything. Oh my God, you are so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's the part right there. You know, it shows you the responsibility that money gives a person. You know. Once a lot of people, a lot of pastors, they get money. Some of them, they think, how do I get more money? And so they, they resort to scamming people. They lie, they fix miracles, whatnot, and all that kind of a jazz. Um, sometimes their blindness just needs a quick thing in. Bear in mind, I've just noticed something also. He also doesn't tell us how much it costs per person. That's why I'm saying this must have been an extremely costly video. You know, in other parties giving thingy, but to get a thousand people this across the world, Mexico, going to Namibia, whatnot and whatnot, and getting doctors in that area, whether they found somebody locally or somebody internationally, how long it must have taken them to actually research w which areas they're going to do it in, how long his team had to spend on just doing that part he he had of course he hires he has a, a team of people that he works with so he has people hired in the background to do the research behind where who's the doctor at what time who's gonna go and film in these particular areas going to somalia i see some places which look like somali there and whatnot like in all these places this video must be extremely expensive just a night an eight minute video responsibility that's the thing that i wanted to knock at on this particular video money brings responsibility and a lot of our fake pastors whatnots they don't like responsibility they don't like it and you see at how they attack when people question them on it this video brings back that in mind i was looking at this video and i was trying to see what are people so critical about but hey you can understand the human heart is so wicked uh, when people see what they are not doing they are reminded that they are not doing anything and so they just look at people that are doing something remember this is a 24 year old guy has just made it possible for a lot of people to appreciate life just a little bit more for a thousand people now it's not only a thousand people others might also be inspired to do the same when somebody does something like that it inspires others who also are in that position where they can do something about helping another person. But it reminds you of how irresponsible the supposed pastors, all these people that are, you're fixing a miracle of something that you could have just funded for the person to get a, a proper cure instead of lying to people. Oh, the Benny Hinds, the whatnots, people who have been, Benny Hinds, there was a case of someone who had blindness and thingy and they just completely dismiss them. There's been documentaries that were made on this type of stuff. And so it just reminds you, money brings responsibility. And a lot of people don't like responsibility. And this guy is taking his money that he's made to doing something like this. And wow. And again, that particular factor that I mentioned earlier on, this guy has a tendency of shooting videos. And if the video doesn't fit well, they scrap it. And imagine he might have spent like five million on this video and he would have scrapped it one one video that is worth that much mind-boggling but our show, you didn't have to lie you know you decided to become a liar you decided to cheat people you decided to to use people it's vulnerable areas in order to, for you to take advantage of them and use it to your benefit you know you didn't have to lie these charlatans they didn't have to but they want to because they see the benefit it gives them but these videos videos like this they expose that they expose that area some people's blindness could be cured in 10 minutes you didn't even have to lie